Hi guys, this is your learning assistant EA Andrew Kim for Biology 1009. Today I want to show you how to study for your biology course and I want to share some of my studying tips that allowed me to become um, successful for this course. So for the first tip I want to share you with, um, this is the scientific root words, prefixes and suffixes. This is a whole bunch of list of um, the root words for um, the scientific word and one of the hardest, hardest parts of studying biology is remembering the many different terms. If you really want to understand what you're studying, you need to familiarize yourself with all the terms first. So a good method for this is to try and break down big and complicated words to identify their roots. So it is highly recommended that whenever you encounter unfamiliar words while studying biology, you should take note of them in your notebook and try to find its definition and take the time to understand the different roots within the word. Okay, so for my second tip, I want you guys, I want to suggest you guys to draw like a mind map. So from general to specific, um, it is very beneficial for your understanding to follow a process of effective learning of biology. Um, you must master like the general concepts before being able to tackle the specific specific ones. For example, um, you can try to understand what factors identify a mammal for studying factors that identify primates. So in this sense, it is also advisable to study processes throughout early before advancing to the next level. So your memorization of different processes and the relationships in, in my map such as this um, are an effective educational resource for students um, as they help organize information in a very uh, easy and visual way. So for my third tip, um, for it is also wise to um, utilize your lab experience um, to put bio biology theory into practice by using the laboratory whenever possible to explore your curiosity. Once in the laboratory, you, you can test your hypothesis and prove your theories in terms of learning. The acting of doing will stay with you a lot longer than active reading. And for number four, um, it is also really good for learning if you use drawings, like such as this diagram here. This is a biological pathway where you can see um, the phospholipid layer and um, DNA and kinase enzymes and all sorts of proteins. And drawings can help you understand a concept and remember information that would be difficult to define in words. You should get used to drawing diagrams such as uh, this biological pathway here, as you can be asked to produce and label such diagram in your biology exam. And lastly, um, if you go to your um, Moodle website for your biology course, there should be a practice um, practice question missing here. If you Go to this link, there should be a whole bunch of questions for you guys to utilize um, before taking your exam. Um, it is very, it is actually the most important part of studying your test when um, uh, when you take the exam. You should be familiar with the formatting of the exam and um, used to what sort of um, questions might appear on the test and get used to the difficulties that are presented. Um, and so I think it's very, I think this is the most important part when you are trying to prepare for your biology exam, try to get used to the sort of um, questions that are going to come out in the exam. Okay, that is all I want to share with you guys. I hope you guys do well in your um, in your class and study as effective as possible. Thank you.